Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I thought it would be fun to show you guys um, a bunch of clothes that I've got for Emmanuel. He is five months at the moment, but I'm starting to build his six to 12 month clothing collection. So I thought I would start this video with a fun little clothing haul and then move on to show you guys my clothing organization and my little system in sort of rotating his clothes out, the ones that are too small, and then um, introducing his clothes that he's starting to grow into. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this. Don't forget to thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what other videos you'd like to see. Okay, now if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably know that I love shopping at Best and Less for kids' clothes because they have so many cute clothes and it's just so, so cheap. So I have a pretty big Best and Less haul. So let's get into that one first. So firstly, I've got this tracksuit set. So this is a quilted tracksuit set. These are the pants and this is the top. The top was $12 and the pants was also $12. So he pretty much lives in these, especially um, when he's just chilling at home. And I am obsessed with the tracksuit sets um, at Best and Less. I think they're really cute. So I also have this color as well. This is just a plain sort of rust color and I've got the matching pants as well. These ones, because they're just plain and not quilted, um, the top is $5 and the bottoms, I think are also $5. Yeah. I've also got this little puffer vest, which is just $12. He's got a smaller one at the moment that fits him and he's always wearing them. These are really good for if it's cold outside and I just need to throw something on. And I've also got this waffle set. So this is just plain pair of gray pants. And this is the matching top. And I think matching sets are so cute on babies. The bottoms are $8 and I think the top is around the same price. I also picked up this fleece suit. He does sleep in these when it's really cold, which at the moment we're going into winter. So this has dinosaurs on it. And yeah, it just keeps him really warm while he's sleeping. Now, as I mentioned, we are going into winter. So I picked up two of these um, Underworks long sleeve thermals. They're meant to be really warm. So I'll see if they make a difference. They are $10 each, so they're not cheap, but I picked up a gray one and a white one, mainly just to wear at night when, while he's sleeping. And hopefully that'll keep him nice and warm. So that's everything from Best and Less. Now moving on to all my other stuff. So firstly, I've got this puffer jacket from Target. I really, really like this because it's obviously going to keep him really warm in winter and it's also reversible so he can wear the orange side or he can wear the blue side. I also really like the shade of blue that this is because it's more like a periwinkle blue and this was $29 but I got it at 20% off when they had a promo. All right, Emmanuel is being pretty noisy. So I'm just going to hold him and hopefully I can still do the rest of this haul. So I have a bunch of Bonds suits. So he lives in these at home as well. Um, these are really good because it's got the double zipper and it's just easy. So I've got a bunch of these in six to 12. I usually like to get neutral stuff, but because these are suits he just wears at home, I don't mind if he wears like bright colors and stuff. Yes, I am that mum. So speaking of bright colors, I have this one. This one my mum actually got for him and I think it's actually a Christmas themed one, but it's very, very bright. And I have this one here and this one has tigers on it. And then we have this 2020 Olympics one and we have this striped one as well. And lastly, we have this elephant one. I've also got this suit from Kmart. This doesn't have the double zippers, but it's still good enough and cheap. So I think they're pigeons on them. So that's all the Bond suits. Now moving on to a couple of other things. I've got these really, really cute bloomers. They're like a linen fabric. And this was actually a gift from um, my friend Chi, who I originally met from YouTube. I don't know if she still watches my videos, but we became friends after Phil actually filmed her and Ben's wedding. And she actually gifted Emmanuel this little set. So there's a bloomers and there's also a top, which has already been washed. Um, so that was really sweet of her. And I've got a couple of things from Pure Baby. Now, I would never purchase stuff from Pure Baby for my own kid because it's just so expensive. I always purchase Pure Baby stuff as gifts for other 
people's babies but this was gifted to me so I have this onesie it's really really nice and soft and it's just got these little animals on them very very cute and I've also got this I love this this is so cute I can't wait to put Emmanuel in this I think he's gonna look so cute in this but it retails for $69.95 which is crazy so we'll just have to make sure he wears it heaps now I also got sent a package from a company called Zoe Darling and because they're based in Melbourne I really wanted to support them so I do have a coupon code if you're interested. They basically curate a bunch of things into a really nice package for babies. So if you're looking for gifts for friends I would highly recommend it. So this is what I picked out. It's a really really nice um, packaged all in a box and you know with nice tissue paper and everything so you don't need to worry about wrapping anything if it's a gift and yeah it's just really really nice so in this box there's this onesie from snuggle honey kids which i love this color as you know i love my neutrals this is super super cute i can't believe he'll be this tall one day so this is in a size 6 to 12 months and it's just a really nice basic ribbed onesie from snuggle honey kids next we have this really pretty jersey wrap it's really nice and soft i won't use it to swaddle him because it's not swaddled anymore but it's definitely a good thin blanket to use particularly in like autumn spring and i really do like the print on it and there's also a matching beanie shall we try it on baby let's try it on <laughs> So this is the matching beanie. What do you think, baby? Do you like it? That's super cute. And we also have this teether. He loves to put anything in his mouth now, so something like this would be perfect. This is from My Little Giggles. And we've got this really popular book, We're Going on a Bear Hunt. Now this is a book that I wanted to get anyway, so I'm really glad that it comes within this box and it's a nice thick board book so perfect for his age and we do like to read him books so I think this will be really really good and we have this willow by the sea baby oil which will be perfect because we can give him a little massage after his bath time so that's everything in our Zoe Darling box definitely check out the description box down below if you're interested for a 20% off coupon code all right, so that's everything in my haul. Moving on to closet organization. So this is the dresser that we use. I like that the drawers are quite deep, which is something you might want to look out for when looking for a dresser. And here we have all the nappies, which is usually all stocked up, but because we're transitioning between sizes at the moment, we've just got a few nappies left. I also keep a spare packet of water wipes in the drawer just so that if I do run out while I'm changing his nappy, I don't need to walk away from him to grab a packet. Next up, I have these cloth nappy inserts which I use as multi-use cloths and I just keep them in that cube and then in this small cube we've got all his little socks and these cubes you can buy in a pack from Ikea, they're super useful. Here we've got all his thicker bibs and then we've got his thinner bibs in the cube next to it and then I've also got all his medical stuff there. Now this is the drawer that I use the most. We've got all his basic clothing here which includes his undergarments and all his suits so pretty much his everyday clothing. And these cubes are part of that Ikea set. And they also collapse if you don't need them, so they're super useful. So we have singlets in the first one. And here we have four singlet bodysuits, which are really good for when you're putting your baby in separate top and bottom clothing, so that if their clothes ride up, they're still kept nice and warm underneath. Here we've got short sleeve suits, which we don't really use too often because there's not much difference between the sleeveless ones and long sleeve ones. So that's why we've only got a few there. 
and here we've got all his long sleeves. Now, because we're in winter at the moment, we do have quite a few long sleeve suits and he wears these every day. Sometimes he wears two underneath his outfits if it's really cold. And we've got them organized from thinnest to thickest. Here we've got all his bottoms. So I've got all his little track pants and then moving down to the bottom is where his leggings are. And here I store his shorts, which he actually hasn't ever worn because it's too cold now. Now in this B cube, I have stored all his suits. They're mainly all Bonds Wonder suits. They've got the double zippers and the fold over mittens and feet and I just fold them like so and then just place them all in the cube so it looks nice and neat. Now I do have some suits that are not the double zippered ones, they're not bonds so I just have them sitting there as spare. And then because there is some space here I've just put his beanies and hats. Now this is the third drawer where I keep all his fleece suits for when it's really cold, he sleeps in those and everything else is just for the neck size up. Now what I like to do is hang all the outfits that are going out outfits so that there's a difference between the clothes that are in the dresser and the clothes that are hung. And so these are all his nicer clothes and I have them sorted from sleeveless to long sleeve and then moving on to shirts and outerwear. So these hangers I got from Kmart, they come in three different colors, which is pretty useful if you do have lots of different sizes to start with. And at the top is all his six to 12 month clothing that he doesn't fit into yet. Now I also like to keep this container in his closet for all the clothing items that he's grown out of. So this is like the little holding bay that I use and as I wash his clothes and realize that they're now too small for him, I put them in the small container and then move them onto this big storage container. Now that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and found it useful. Don't forget to thumbs up and comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.